placed five meters from the base. So this is the rigid support right here, 5.0 meters. Okay. And then they say that um, rigid support is five meters from the base, and it will be attached from the wall 2.5 meters from its base. So I know that this side right here is going to be 2.5 meters. Okay. It is confusing this one uh, just to set up the diagram, but once you get there you should be okay. So what we're trying to do here is we want to find out what this side length is here. Um, AC, and in terms of this I could call it even little little b. So that's going to be little b. Maybe I'll make this little a over here and little c. So using uh, the sine law here, what I'm first going to try and do is figure out what that little b is. And then once I have uh, little b right there, you'll notice I'll have a full ratio. Because at this stage in the game, I don't have a full ratio. Once I find a full ratio, then I'm going to actually use the sine law to determine what angle a is. So there's going to be this kind of like a two-step one, using the sine law and the cosine law together. I'll just write a little note at the top here. Use the cosine law to determine the length of AC. So we have B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared minus 2AC, the cosine of B. Substituting in here, we have my a is 5 squared plus 2.5 squared minus 2 times 5 times 2.5 cosine of 70 degrees. And I will go and I will put that into my calculator. And when I do this, 5 squared plus 2.5 squared. Okay, we get 22.69, and then lastly, I need to take the square root of that answer. When we do that, we find approximately that b is equal to 4.7643. I'll leave a couple dots right there to show that goes on forever. At this stage, folks, this is an interesting question because it's a two-parter. If you round that, like some people are going to round that and tell me that it's 5. It's not 5, right? Um, what would end up happening is that can, that's going to throw your last answer off. So please, for this type of stuff, make sure that you leave it to approximately four decimal places or even longer. Um, you're going to see here when I put this into my calculator, you could even be more accurate if you want. Okay. So now what I've been able to do right, is I've been able to find that side. So now I have a full ratio here, right? Because I'm looking for what is the angle between the support and the wall at the nearest degree. That means I'm actually looking for this angle A right there. So I'll make myself a little bit of a note here. And we can now use sine law to determine what that angle is. This is a little bit of a two-parter, trying to determine what angle A is. So I'll start off, I'm looking for the sine of A. So I have to take the side length that's across from it, that's the 5 right here. And I'll take my full ratio, I just figured out what the full ratio is. I have the B ratio, the sine of 70 degrees, over that side length I just found, 4.7643. So, in order to get sine of A by itself, I'm going to have to move the 5 up to the numerator. I have 5 times the sine of 70 degrees, all over 4.7643, like so. And putting this into my calculator, I'll get 5, the sine of 70 degrees, all divided by that 4.7643. Hit equals, and so that would be what sine of a equals. Sine of a is equal to point nine eight six. Just put a couple dots, and of course to get a by itself, then you just have to take the sine inverse of this jazz right here. And what do we find out? We find out that angle a. I believe they're looking for it to the nearest degree. Angle a. Once you take the sine inverse. is equal to approximately 80 degrees. So we found out that angle A is equal to uh, 80 degrees. We found out that the length of um, the support is 4 point, I guess what do we say, they want nearest tenth of a meter, so we'd say that this is roughly equal to 4.8 meters. Okay. 
So that concludes this unit. Unit uh, 6, trigonometry, is in the books. Uh, in this lesson we learned about the uh, cosine law and how you can use both the sine law and cosine law kind of in harmony here to uh, deal with some of these tougher questions.